got a letter from my father about my mother, Areni. She's gone missing. She has a habit of running off on an adventure at the drop of a hat and being gone for weeks at a time, but Dad says she's been out of touch for a while now. He's worried. Yet Ron's in the family. Well, Mom's side. Dad's a Halalu trader she partnered with for years before settling down. Mostly settling down. She'd acquire all sorts of rare items for their clients, but my father said they haven't had any commissions. Mom neglected to mention it, I'm sure, but my father mentioned getting an angry letter from one of their old clients at the Stormhold Majors Guild, claiming she reneged on their arrangement after taking payment. Would you mind if we pay them a visit? Dad's letter said that the one raising a stink was an old client of theirs named Myrtolivian, a member of the Stormhold Majors Guild. Let's get to Shadowfen and see just what sort of trouble Mom got herself into this time. It's that obvious, eh? When Mom's in one of her flighty moods, it usually sorts itself out, but sometimes she gets so wrapped up in something it becomes an obsession. Someone has to talk some sense into her, and that someone is usually me. I got my mom's knack for adventure and my dad's level-headedness, so I'm the only one who's both crazy enough to go after her and sane enough to talk some sense into her. I also happen to be their eldest child, so it's my filial duty to the house. <laughs> Not so much. Our family is of little consequence, so we're free to be a bunch of impetuous miscreants chasing our own whims. If I'd been born to one of the great houses, I'd either be a pawn in their schemes or a disappointment, like father. He's a seventh son of a seventh son in House Halalu, so he wasn't going to amount to anything without climbing over his siblings. Dad's too sweet for that. So we wound up marrying into our little house for something as unprofitable as love. We lived there for a good few years when I was young. It was awkward at times. Argonians don't trust Dark Elves, for good reason. I like to think my parents showed them different, but not everyone warmed up to us. I know, I know. It just ashes my hide that a few rotten fetchers ruined it for the rest of us. But that's not quite the truth. It's easy to blame it all on House Drez and the Telvanni, but they weren't the only ones keeping slaves before the pact. No! My mom and dad never approved of it. I even had a cousin who was forced into servitude, and they helped my uncle free him at great risk to themselves. But our ancestors? That... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I suppose. I just feel foolish for taking our innocence for granted. If my ancestors weren't guiltless, I'll just have to be better than them. That's all there is to it. I can start by getting my mother to act more responsibly. It's that obvious, eh? I got my mom's knife. <laughs> He's a seventh... We lived there for a good few years when I... I'm a little surprised you have to ask. Morrowind had the most prolific slave trade in Tamriel before the Ebonheart Pact abolished it. The people they preyed on most were the splintered Argonian tribes down in Blackmarsh. No! My mom and dad never approved of it! I even ha I really should. I've spent my life digging through all sorts of obscure history and I've never really thought to look into my own. Embarrassing, really. Well, that'll have to wait until after we've tracked down my mother, though. Let's ride!
High Elf matches Merch Olivian's description. Ask him if he's seen Reni Alendis. I should probably hang back. Do I know you? I don't believe I do. <laughs> I don't see how that's any of your affair. But if you must know, I did cross paths with that unscrupulous dark elf, and I'm worse for it. What's your interest in Irene? I suppose she cheated you as well. She came to me seeking information, and given our long-standing association, I entrusted her with it on the assurance that she would do me a simple favor in return. Instead, she ran off and played me for a fool. No one makes a fool of me. And I really need the antique inkpot she promised to procure. I'll tell you what I told her, Rennie, but only after my inkpot is returned to me and not a moment sooner. I'll not have my good faith taken advantage of again. My inkwell is currently in the possession of a banker here, the result of an ill-advised card game. They seem to enjoy lording their victory over me, so they refuse to part with it at any price. I want it returned. I don't care how. It's one of a kind. The first work of the current sapiarch of shape and form when they were still a student. Irreplaceable. I never thought an Argonian would beat me at the cards, but the banker has more of a head for numbers than I expected. I didn't. I just got so thoroughly thrashed at the table that I needed to offer collateral. Underroot must have known what a singular treasure it is. Now that she has it in her greedy claws, she'll never let it go. Willingly, anyway. I caught the gist of that. That sweat actually wanted my mom to rob a bank. I'm glad she had enough sense not to go through with it. Unless the reason we haven't heard from her is because she's in jail. Uh, no. Uh, no, she, she wouldn't. I mean, adventuring can be dirty business. My family is nothing but a bunch of no-good tomb robbers, depending on who you ask. But there's a big difference between digging through old ruins for treasure and outright stealing. No. If that were the case, she'd have written my father to pay her bounty. And while he should let her sit and learn her lesson, he's too much of a softy. She probably ran off like Mert said. So now it's us who have to get our hands dirty. Let's hope so. But if we do wind up breaking the law, I could have a worse partner in crime. You're a good friend. I can't believe I have to steal from a bank for my own fetching mother. This is why no one takes our house seriously. Off we go. Casual, just two people admiring the decorations. <clears throat> oh, this is such a nice bank, isn't it? Oh, mm, such refined Jim, taste. Barge why don't you? It's not like I'm trying to work. This is a private office. Well, as private as an office could be that has no door or walls and barely fits a desk. I used to work in a much larger bank. Now, of course you are. Let me guess. Mirtulavon's still trying to get his antique inkwell back. I swear, ever since Underroot won that cursed thing, it's been one bother after another. I suppose it makes a nice distraction from the tedium. Not much of a windfall, but I suppose it'll take me a moment or two to update my ledger. I'm sure you can see yourself out. I'll just be over here counting my gold. Got it? Let's not overstay our welcome.
dare I ask? Is the deed done? Is my little treasure to be returned to me at last? Do you have any idea how rare it is for a creation this ugly to survive on Somerset? Uh, let alone one made by the premier authority on sculpture? I even had the original assignment's written grade, barely satisfactory. <laughs> it's priceless. At least Areni had an appreciation for rarities. I sent her to meet another antiquity hunter I deal with who made a discovery in Stone Falls that Areni would be interested in. Too interested. Edvilda Stonestalker. She was probing my interest in Duomo relics. I've no interest in it, but I knew Areni has an unhealthy interest in them. She was camped near Steamfont, last I heard. That's all I can tell you, so our business is concluded. of walking anyway. Coming for us. Nothing wrong with a little opportunistic harvesting. Mom's scarf. Liam gave that to her last new life when she was headed to Skyrim for the snow bear plunge. She wouldn't have left it. Did Edvilda write down anything important? Mom was definitely here. She had to have gone in a hurry if she left this scarf behind. Did Edvilda write down anything that would clue us in on where my mother's gone? Oh, not that fetching thing again! Mom... She's been chasing after my grandfather's Dwemer puzzle box for decades. Ever since the old Mur joined our ancestors at the tomb, it's her obsession. Don't tell me they got into a fight over it. Great. Just great. So the shifty Nord met my mother out here and ran afoul of bandits? That explains what happened to Edvilda, but Mom's not here, thank Vec. But if she'd escaped, we'd have heard from her, right? They must have taken her captive. I've never been to the Inner Sea Armature, but it must not be too far from Edvilda's camp. Three. I hope Mum's all right. Cave. This looks promising.
good at this. Well, I probably shouldn't be proud of that. Miri? Miri, am I glad to I see I swear, you. get me out of these shackles. Come by those too often. Don't mind Miri. She takes too much after her father. I've been dying to finally meet the person my daughter's been adventuring with. Though I hadn't planned on being chained up like a common criminal upon our first meeting. I was negotiating a lead from a contact I met out by Steamfont, and talks got a little heated. She was trying to take me for a ride, I could tell, and we must have caught the attention of these feckless swits. They tried to rob us. She tried to make a run for it, and they cut her down without a second thought. Figured I'd take my chances with another approach. Offered to be their cook if they spared my life. Fortunately, they aren't picky. I was beginning to run out of recipes. No, I suppose not. Won't be long before one of these fools gets bored or hungry and comes to swipe something from the pantry. You've done a fine job looking after Miri, so I'll follow your lead. But don't think we're done talking. Can we please just get out of here now? You're watching. Nicely done. I can see why you like them, Miri. you're free and clear just because we escaped the bandits. What were you thinking? Oh, come now, Miri. I've been doing this since before you were in diapers. And you're not getting any younger. We almost lost Liam, and you nearly lost this. Would you trade it for that stupid puzzle box? Liam's scarf? Miri, I... I... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry I worried you all. It's just... I'll let it go. We love you, Mom. We're your family. Go home. Well, now I feel the fool. I made you all worry. Dragged you into this mess. Sorry to be such a pain in the arse, as my daughter would put it. Maybe it's time I hung up my adventurer's rock and settled in with my worrywart of a husband. I just hate leaving things unfinished. <sighs> it was my father's prized possession. He spent decades trying to unravel its mysteries, until it was stolen from him. Then he spent the rest of his life trying to get it back, and most of mine after he died. I thought it might finally make him happy. 
I know it probably seems like I'm being harsh, but Mum's been at this more times than I can count. She promises to give up on it, but then she catches some whiff of a lead about that damn box and she's off like a race squaw. This time, death was the only thing that stopped my grandfather from chasing after that stupid trinket. I don't want it to be the same for her. You can only keep rolling the dice in this life for so long. I hope so. Probably not. But I've weighed her down with enough guilt to hold her for a little while, at least. Either way, sorry for dragging you into my family drama. Are you kidding? If I don't get you out of here, she'll make you meet the entire extended family. Davin's watch is just down the road. She can make her way home from there. Thank you for putting up with all this. I'll make it up to you. Problem, Sarah? I have another favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. Mom will try her best to put her search for that puzzle box behind her, but I know her. The moment she catches wind of another flimsy lead, she'll be off looking just one more time. She's only going to stop when it's found, or she's dead. Want to? No. Need to? Probably. My mom's been trying to fulfill her filial duties since she buried my grandfather. I'd rather not come by it the same way. I was thinking I'd pay the old Mur a visit at our ancestral tomb. Will you join me? My grandfather should be interred in our family tomb in Othrenus. At least, I think that's what mom said. She's never taken me to see him. I don't think she's been back there since the day he was buried. She doesn't want to face him empty-handed. Well, I'm not just thinking of finally paying my respects. I can summon his ancestor spirit to the tomb. I'm hoping my grandfather can tell us something about his missing puzzle box that will help put this fetching, fetcher, fly hunt to rest. Like I said, I don't think she's spoken with him since he died. Mom never talks about my grandfather. I get the impression that they weren't close. He was obsessed with that puzzle box. When it was stolen, getting it back was all he could think about. I don't think Mom gives two swits about the box. She just wants him to acknowledge her. Maybe I can convince him to free her from her duty. Othrenus is in Stone Falls. I can't speak for the condition of the tomb, so we should assume it's dangerous. I think Grandad's tomb is on the eastern side, toward the back. Shrine, uh, tomb, whatever. You light the candles, I'll mutter the ancestor's summons prayer. This is the family plot. Light the votive candles, would you? I'll begin the incantation. Ah! Uh, you lead. Grandfather, house of my house, blood of my blood, the daughter of your daughter summons you. Come forth and share your wisdom. Daughter of my daughter? Bah! Strangers both. I have nothing to say to the likes of you. My daughter leaves me to rot for decades, and this is how I'm greeted? Roused from a neglected grave by a stranger who happens to share my blood? And a filthy noir? 
Is that what Irene has been doing all these years? Raising this whelp in the lap of luxury with that spineless Lalu boy while I molder in an early grave? Such ingratitude! Then perhaps this child is less a fool and ingrate than my own. No doubt you've been told I died in pursuit of my stolen puzzle box, but that is not the whole story. I was murdered. I came too close to the truth, and I was silenced for it. I was betrayed by one whom I called friend. We whiled away many nights, unlocking the secrets of that dwarven puzzle. But on the cusp of the solution, it vanished from my collection. When I came too close to the truth, my friend killed me. Onimeril was the Mur who wronged me. A guild mage of Vocal Guard. A silver-tongued liar who cheated me out of my dearest possession and my life. Return what's mine. Bring me the puzzle box, and Irene's failings will be forgiven. Because she is a disappointment, as she has always been, Swit. A Dunmer with her upbringing should have paid her respects to me a hundred times over. Her contempt for tradition is a blight on our house. Fair, close. We are family. Close has nothing to do with it. She was born and raised to carry on the legacy of our house. It was her duty to bring prestige and prosperity to our name as we have for generations, not run off with some feckless Lalu. Of course not! She was intended to be betrothed to the House Father's firstborn, not some tenth-rate house cousin she fetched trinkets for. With a word, she could have elevated our station to the Great Houses. I ask so little, and she delivers less. It was a singular find. The greatest in my career. A Dwemer puzzle box of such complexity and beauty that it could only truly be appreciated by a great mind. Onimeril understood that. We knew that this device hid answers to mysteries only they knew. Worth killing over, at least. I underestimated Onimeril's ambitions. I didn't think High Elves had the stomach for theft and murder. I should never have shared that box with anyone. It was meant for me and me alone. He was behind me at every turn, studying the puzzle box, commiserating its loss, guiding me in searching for it. He was clever enough to keep my attention focused outward. Staying in my blind spot until the very moment he pushed me to my death. Anyone who knew that device's true value would never let it go. He'd never part with it willingly, no matter how much its maddening design might thwart him. My only consolation is my certainty that the puzzle has tormented him ever since he stole it. What an ass. I can see why Mom wasn't keen to visit all these years. I can't believe she spent so many years trying to please that fetcher. Don't I know. I suppose I should be more grateful to Mom and Dad for letting me be my own person. I had no idea. If my father talked to me that way, I'd have pushed him off a ledge myself. Only so I could shove it up his ashes. This is important to my mother. I'm doing this for her, not that old swit. Let's head to Volkhel Guard. See if we can find this Onimeral. I may want to shake his hand. My grandfather said Onimeral was a guild mage from Volkhel Guard. Maybe we'll find him there. Or at least find someone who knows where he is. Yeah. Off we go! Take a load off at the inn. Yeah! 
But Master Onimaril is gone now, and... Onimaril's departure is no excuse. You two are mages of the guild first. I expect to see you both in my office shortly. Oh dear. This one is in trouble now. Oh, Takano will get in trouble. Now that Kalia is keeping an eye on things. Ah, yes. Takano is... Uh, was one of Onimaril's apprentices. Before he was... Um, kicked out of the guild. It has left this one in a rather precarious predicament. Perhaps we could help one another? Well, you see, as Onimaril's apprentice, this one was afforded certain privileges. His master was not so particular about the uh, rules of the guild, so his banishment was not all that surprising. But his replacement is quite stern, and this one has erred. This one might have turned Onimaril's other apprentice Arlette into a chicken. She has run off, and should his new master discover Takano's error, he is certain to be expelled. If you return poor befouled Arlette, he will tell you of Onimaril. This one fears Arlette will be tempted by the grains near the Salted Wings Tavern and wind up someone's dinner. Please find her quickly. She had lustrous blue-green feathers. Takano is certain she will stand out, for better or worse. <laughs> this one certainly hopes to get the opportunity to try, but... Uh... That will not matter if Arlette is feathered and fried. Takano will read up on transformations while you search. Just please find her. Only Maril's former apprentices are on probation, and his new instructor watches us like a hawk. It is only by some miracle that she did not witness Takano's terrible error. But she will discover it if Arlette does not return soon. This is the right one, or it's going to make for an interesting scene back at the guild. I don't know why anyone would eat chicken when they could have a plump pony gua. You're back, and you come bearing fowl. Oh, yes, that looks to be Arlette. He can see the profound sadness in her eyes. Or judgment, but either is a good sign. Such a relief. This one was shedding most profusely from nerves. Oh, of course, of course. Onimaril was expelled from the guild not long ago, as you know. But he did not call the guild hall his home. He was very secretive and kept to a small wilderness retreat northwest of Skywatch. Takano was never invited to it. Uh, not to speak ill of his former master, but Takano thinks you should know that Onimaril was expelled from the guild for dabbling in forbidden magic. This one never saw it for himself. His master was always kind to him. But if true, be careful. Takano hopes this works. Ugh! Takano! I ought to burn your ears for... Did I just cluck? I 
I can't. I can't. Damn it! I can't believe Takano turned me into a chicken. Next time we practice, I am the one trying out new spells. Oh, Lord. You have truly saved Takano's future as a mage and Arlette's, especially Arlette's. Let's ride! Not much of a retreat, if you ask me. Let's see if Onimaro left anything helpful behind. Raylan sent you, didn't he? He'll never have it back! Find anything useful in all that scribble? Looks like trying to solve that puzzle box took its toll on Onimeral. Why were he and my grandfather so enamored with this thing? I get that, but I also get the impression that Onimeral's finding the answers he wants to find. Sometimes a riddle is just a riddle. At least his destination was clear enough. Hopefully the box is still in that dwarven ruin. I don't know. It's not like I've ever laid eyes on the thing. I just don't see how some hunk of dwarven junk can be worth everything these two have sacrificed. If we do find it and I start going crazy, do me a favor and smash the fetching thing.
Something tells me on Emerald's theory didn't pan out. Maybe be gentle with that box. Feeling all right? No all-consuming desire to solve the unknowable mystery? Great, let's get out of here. I can't say I understand what all the fuss was about. It's a box. A fancy box, but a box nonetheless. Hard to imagine that this piece of fetching garbage has caused my family so much anguish. I'll be happy to bury it. I'll send word to my mother to meet us in Athrenis. We will deliver it to my family's plot, and hopefully she'll find some closure with my bull netch of a grandfather. My granddad doesn't deserve Mom's devotion, or forgiveness. But if it frees her of her guilt and obligations, she'll be safe and I'll be happy. Come on, let's not tempt fate by lingering with that thing. Miri? Is that you? It had better not be another skeleton. Do you really have it? The puzzle box? Truthfully, I, I barely remember what it looks like. Father. You finally did your duty. Or rather, your daughter and some noir did. Success, once removed, is so very like you. All you've ever cared about was what I could do for you. Well, this is the last favor. That goes for us, as well. You've set a poor example for your daughter, always putting your whims before the good of the house. You can stuff the fetching house. Our family is more than just your legacy. Come on, Mom. We're wasting our breath. Well, Outlander, at least you understand the value of doing what you're told. Does the House Father heap gratitude upon his vassals for paying tributes left long overdue? I have been wrong. My forgiveness will not come so cheaply. I will not be lectured on the matters of my house by some uppity noir. Oh, fine. I will be the bigger mare. Let it not be said that I was never magnanimous. Damn, ancestors. If they want to make such a big deal of us paying our respects, we can put more effort into paying them back. Huh. <sighs> Grudges and curses are done merry traditions dating back to the Anticipations. Just because they're old doesn't make them good. I'm happy to leave all that to rot with Grandad and his stupid gold brick. But it looks like Mom is willing to forgive. She has nothing to regret. 
She did everything she could. That damn box was the last excuse that could be made for why they were estranged. They still can't make up after this. Granddad's just a fetching arsehole. Either way, she'll be fine. No, we should give her and Granddad some space. They have a lot to catch up on, assuming they don't just start cursing each other out. We've done our part. Let's get back to saving the world. Or whatever. If you keep helping us out like this, Mom's liable to adopt you. For which, I apologize ahead of time. If you want my advice on carrying on our good name, you may come to me again. Oh, may I? How gracious. I can manage without you, Father. But I may come again to visit. This is hard enough without you watching, Noir. Kindly leave my grave in peace. I told Miri I'd let it go. She didn't have to take on this problem for me and drag you along with her. I never wanted to saddle my children with my problems, like my father did with me. But I've gone and done it anyway. I know it's in her nature to look after others. I'm glad she's got someone reliable to look after her when she needs it. She's liable to wind up as tangled up in worry as her father and get an ulcer otherwise. Be a bad influence, like her mother. I told Miri I'd let it go. She didn't... Who knows? He's been blistering my backside like an ornery shark since I've been old enough to walk. I've got a thick skin for him. That stupid trinket was like a deep splinter wedged between us. Now that it's plucked, maybe the rift will heal. If you keep helping us out like this, Mom's liable to adopt you. For which, I apologize ahead of time. <laughs>